Hey, it's Saturday morning after 7 o'clock. It's 7.10 on Saturday morning. I'm Bill Yonka. This is the Bill Yonka Show. Carl Baronich is here, and just on time, the 7.10 train rolls through Kankakee. Perfect. It's the 7.10 train. Some days, some days it's the 7.25 train, but it's a... Uh, well, maybe one of those, too. It always seems to come right as we're coming back from commercial, just to make sure that you know we're for real. And we're Uncle Paul likes those sound effects. Right here in downtown Kankakee. <laughs> we use real Kankakee sound Farmers effects. Does that market. make them effect if they're real? Yeah. It's just real no, sound. No, that's just real sound. Those were real sound, and you might hear a cart in the background, too. Some of the early folks. That's real. The carts here. A lot of the cool people are still in bed. But, yeah, uh, but the, the folks the are out here are a little cool, too, because of the temperature. Yes, yeah, it is a little. A little uh, Here's Carl with the weather. Oh, the weather today. <laughs> Cloudy. <laughs> Chance of isolated storms this afternoon. The high is 79 today, so it's going to get... It's going to get warmer. It's we good. Bet that. Tonight, partly cloudy, low of 57. And tomorrow, mainly sunny skies with a high of 81. Sounds like tomorrow's going to be a beautiful day, but it's a beautiful morning. Here oh, it's a good market. way to kick off August, I think. It's beautiful weather. That's right. August 1. That's today, isn't yeah. it? It's, today's the first day of August. And uh, check. The first day of the rest of your August. <laughs> oh. The month with How are no you? holidays. Are you looking for the uh, extension, folks? Oh, you're part of them. Okay, we saw a, a, a plant. Sometimes people bring in plants. They're looking for the extension folks. You're an extension of them, you could say. Find oh. them. Oh, let me describe this on the radio quick. Yeah, this isn't poisonous, I don't think. <laughs> uh, I hope not now. Okay, we well, yeah, discovered uh, uh, poison ivy at one time. One of the neat yeah. things here at the market is the cooperative extension master gardeners are here, and uh, people do wander in with uh, just random branches off things. And questions. And questions about it. So where, where'd you find this? In my backyard. I got this grown all over the place in my hedges. Okay. Yeah, I think I've, in this kind of, you don't notice it for a while, and then you realize your hedges are half something else after a while. Yeah, this grows about five feet a year, it seems. Wow. Okay. Well, when you find out, will you let us know? Yeah, start Very back. good. Thanks. It is a Especially uh, vine that grows in your yeah, yeah, let Bill know if he's got to go <laughs> wash his hands now. i got to disinfect my computer mouse, too, if that's uh -oh. the case. Well, I don't think your running mouse a, is none of our business, Bill. <laughs> part of, uh, part I don't of the think fun. running a mouse over the plant really tells us anything, does it? But no, but that, you we'll know, do it anyway. That probably is that technology. Yeah. You know, one of the scary pieces of technology, if I might divert a minute here, is this. You can hold your phone MP3 up and, and to a song, yes. and it hears it, and then it tells you what that is. Mm -hmm. That scares me that that technology exists. I could have used it playing would, Name That Song a couple of weeks ago. Why, it, why would that scare you? Well, how does that little, it's just the, the technology behind all that just says the word a place in, in our in our history that just frightens me. That there's, you know, it's like Orwell or something. It's just oh, kind of scary. There's a, there's a little man in there, Carl. Well, we'll tell you, we'll explain okay. it all later. <laughs> we'll, we'll have more talk about technology and uh, things that grow here at the Farmer's Market today. All part of the Bill Yonka Show. The, uh, the pickup truck full of corn is here. And, you know, cool. I think we're all breathing a little easier now because the uh, the Harden family, Bill and his wife, are here. They uh, come from Michigan and bring their fruit down. And Ooh. usually they're one of the early ones here. And, uh, oh, goodness, I, I, it was 7 o'clock and they weren't here yet. Oh, my. So you just think about all the things that could go wrong when you're so driving from Michigan, Michigan to yeah. here real early in the morning. You know, you could have a coffee spill inside the car and that. Leads to a veering off the road and Heavens. all those things that could go wrong on the road. And well, I'm just glad to see they pulled in. We are. Did you ask him? No, I, I haven't talked to him. I just kind of looking through the the trees here and everything and noticed Maybe that they were on their way and they saw some good blueberries and they had to pull over and pick a few more before they, they came down. That's a possibility. Hey, a, I saw the chef. You see the chef over there? Yeah, Denny Simpson. He, he, he is uh, scouting for ne next week. Next week here at the farmers market is the professional chefs challenge. And it's, I think we're going to have a few more chefs than we usually have in that event wow. this year. Next week, what the deal is, is we give them money. You know, there are very few things where, you know, we uh, in life where you really, you just get money. Yeah, that's amazing. And we give, we give them like $50. We give them quite a bit of money to go spend at the farmer's market. Okay. And then they have to come back into the gazebo, their, their workstation, and create a meal for a panel of judges. We'll find some judges here today at the market, people who are interested in doing that. I think you've been a judge. I was a know. judge in the past, and yeah, it was a I, delightful I did, experience. I judged the professionals last year, not judged. the amateurs. I judged the professionals. Well, Denny yeah. Simpson, who we see right now, he's over at the Dickman stand. He's kind of getting his game plan together for next week. Is Denny's it allowed to scout a week early? Oh, oh yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Dickmans have gotten all sorts of phone calls from these folks. Ooh. So Denny Simpson, he's uh, he's over there. He wears uh, he wears Crocs. A lot he of wears the Crocs. Wear Crocs. Not a lot of men. Yeah, wear Crocs. But more and uh, more though, I guess. Denny no, Simpson, the last two no years. No judgments, Carl. Sure. He has I think won I'll miss the, a croc myself, the amateur huh? chef division. Huh? So now this year, Denny he Simpson from Bourbonnet, him and the uh, the Gourmet Zombies is uh-huh. his team name. Oh wow. He and his daughters are the Gourmet Zombies, okay. and they'll uh, be uh, putting together their creations next week here at the market in the professional division. Wow. So you, you win it two, two, two years in a row, and you, you 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 can't do it again in that division. No, you got to gotta bump up to the pros. It's the big boys, absolutely. absolutely. The others. Yeah. Will yeah. they wear the Crocs next week, you think? Oh, I guarantee it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He'll yeah. be uh, probably dressed in theme. He is dressed in theme, yeah. Because usually he, uh, they have a theme, and he dresses accordingly. He wears his gourmet zombie with uniform. Chef. Oh. Yeah, yeah with a chef. Kind of frightening, actually. No, actually, it's a... Uh, it's kind of nice. I don't. I don't. Is, is he and his daughters don't look like zombies. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah. Well, we will. Um, why don't we take a quick break? Here on the program today, we'll be talking to a lot of different people. We'll find out what that vine was. Hopefully, we, we will. Yeah. Hopefully, I. And hopefully, you'll be able to finish the show here and not have to be carted yeah. off to the uh, emergency room or anything. Yeah. But, but if but, he was carted off, which emergency room would he go to? Well, Carl? that's you know that's free choice and, uh, and I, I would suggest one but you know, that's all right you can go wherever you'd like um, for those folks who read the newspaper or keep up with Kurt events they saw Carl on the front page we'll talk about that as the uh, the show continues it's some big news in uh, his neck of the woods and we don't have autograph copy copies you know, for the I'll women bring a buy I'll be happy to do that for folks he'll autograph anything <laughs> we'll also be talking about the big event going on tomorrow, troops coming home, yes. and uh, the reception that they'll get as they arrive will tell you exactly what you need to know to make sure to give those folks the proper welcome when they pull back into Kankakee County. Very good. And they'll be just in time for the fair. Yeah, they can make it right out they to the can fair. They can catch a couple days of the fair. Yeah, they'll have the It would be a road. nice thing to do. I don't think they have those in, uh, in the Mideast. Yeah, they, they call them something else, though, probably. We'll see. I don't know what. Maybe we'll find somebody who knows. Take free admission to the fair, all the soldiers. Uh, we'll have to check. Carl, you're starting something. <laughs> we've we've got the uh, the fair's website up. I'll check that during a commercial. Only right though. For you think it would work out? that I think way. it would. <laughs> you're listening to Talk AM 1320 WKAN. We'll be right back after this. <laughs> 